the tools that you're gonna see in this video are super, super cool tools. And I have so many sets. This maybe represents like 20% of the tools I have. But the problem is I'm not specialized enough to need this kind of stuff. I got a Husky set, man, that's all I need. But check us out. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, day eight of the year. And there's been a lot of stuff done in the trailer. You know, it sucks to have to throw these old TVs away, but they're just worthless. What are you gonna do with them? Rich went through the tools like crazy. I got a little part that I'll throw in here somewhere. Right here we got a set of Craftsman Professional. Craftsman Professional, the whole set from 5 16 all the way up to 7 8 complete set. Back here, right here we have a set from 7 16 to 11 16 snap-on stubby wrenches. When you need a stubby wrench, you need a stubby wrench. You know what I'm saying? She said. That's not what she said. No, that's not. <laughs> um, there's a couple of these nice, I'm sure these are expensive. If I looked around, there's probably a set of these Blue Point, the Blue Point. reversible ratcheting wrenches. So many tools. Snap on. Snap on. Craftsman. 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 Yep. Put one of these. Oh, sorry. Your, oh, you're good. Put one of those in your toolkit and get inside. To oh, down. there's another. That's the other snap on. Yes. There's a little snap on. A little snap on guy. Um, there's a couple of regular 3H drive snap on wrenches in here somewhere. Right. And then over here, these are totally, totally specialty. I mean, this one. Come on. Oh yeah. Not the blue, but all the colored black, red. These all snap on screwdrivers. You got big fatties. This is a set so like of, Mac or something. That's a snap on. Is it really? Um, you got all the little specialty prying tools for Cornwall. This here Mac or snap on, and then more specialty here. I don't even know. I don't even know what you would ever need this for. But I'll tell you, a blue point ratchet. This total specialty stuff. And I know some of these I've bought over time. Look at this wrench. USA snap on? It's snap on or blue point, probably. I don't know. But that's that. Today is kind of a tool day. And Rich was showing me some of what he found out here, and I'm like, well, shit, man, this is the kind of stuff we should be making a video on. So let's do that. I mean, when I got into this drawer here, I was like, you guys got to see this. So all these toolboxes, and I've had the Snap Code, the Mac Code guy, and all kinds of guys stopping by my place all my life. I've had guys that needed money for toolboxes, and I've traded for tools, and I've bought stuff at auction. I've got more weird stuff than you could imagine. But I want Rich to show me, hey, I know, hey, Rich, Rich, I know all about device grips. I could talk about them all day long. But well, tell me this. That's the one, right? Yeah, snap one. There's another one here too. Uh, we're gonna see. Craftsman. What is that? Something USA. Snap on. Snap on. That's probably not cheap. Nope. Call that a, a brace. Snap on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Snap on wrenches like cray cray. Is this blue point in here? No. Ooh. Look at this. Antique snap on. Mac. Oh, yeah. You said you traded one of these for a I new one. I traded one of those for a brand new one to the snap on guy because he wanted to hang that in his truck. <laughs> wow, are these actually Mac? They are. It's a lot of crow's foot. It's a Mac, ain't it? Yeah. Sure is. Hello? Wow, how much do you think somebody paid for these little sliders for their... Yeah. So there is Buku Bunch of and Craftsmen. Craftsmen. This is old school Craftsmen. Have you seen one of these? No, what is it? This thing spins, but it's a quarter inch nut driver with a... Oh, with a twindy bit. So can... Who makes that? Somebody fancy. Who? Blue point. Blue Snap point. <clears throat> it's crazy. That's kind of a cool tool. This stuff is cool stuff. Wow. Wonder if that's somebody I'm famous. All this stuff. What is that? Okahaka. 
Black Hawk. What is it? Black what? Black Hawk. Black Hawk. Black Hawk is a good tool. Well, so that's the wrenches. There's just buku amounts of wrenches and stuff. Wasn't there something cool in that one? Snap on screwdrivers. Snap on screwdrivers. A cornhole. Cornwall. Yeah, this is a bunch of tools. I tell you. Feeler gauge. A feeler gauge. Yes, you want a feeler. See, that's what I immediately think. Something to that effect. Tools galore. Now, the cool stuff, we was actually looking at. Vice grips and such. Look at this set. This is actual vice grips. These are all vice grip brand. Vice grip. Yeah, these are all vice grip brand. Vice grip, vice grip, vice grip, vice grip. It's all the real stuff. Wow, all different sizes of these yeah. boxes. I don't know what a Meyer plier is. It looks handy. But it looks pretty cool. It looks like a vise and a plier in one. All different sizes of this crap. Vice grip. The real deal. This. See, that's a vice grip too. This is when Irwin took over. Irwin vice grip. Oh, really? Yeah, Irwin. You actually know that. All these craftsman wrenches and this is snap on or craftsman. What is that? It's craftsman. No? Bo Bo Bomer. 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 There was a couple of them that were craftsmen, I thought. Blue point. Oh, blue point. Huh. That's, that's a snap on There's just a lot of different tools. Same thing. Blue point. Blue point. Snap on wrenches. Just over and over. In fact, Rich brought up. Mac. We were looking at this craftsman wrench, which an inch and a quarter is not cheap. And he's like, you know what? Look at the difference. That's a regular old craftsman like I'm used to seeing. Well, this one's in the handle. It don't have that piece forged on it. You turn it over. Professional. We is professional. There's a whole set of those things like. It's crazy. It's crazy. The money. I, I just around. need to sell some of this stuff. What the hell? That's a pretty big one. Hit right. It's got oil. Oil only. It's got to be better to... <laughs> Better than Harbor Freight. Oh yeah. Buddy. Well, that's kind of a a tool tour, I guess you'd say. There's more stuff in here. That's kind of a crazy thing. Somebody made a somebody made a flare wrench out of a snap-on wrench. That's custom. Can you get that? I can't get it with the camera. Fast. Whoa, what's that? I've never seen a socket like that. For hand use only. Craftsman. Half the, it's a craftsman, huh? What the f anybody know what that is? It's the whole set. The whole set of them. I don't understand that. Of course I never said I understood everything. It's got a, a retainer ring and everything in there. See that? Not sure what that is. It's interesting. Expensive. Oh fuck, cardboard in the middle. What is that? Some kind of tester? No Craftsman? Not sure. What does it say on the side? Does it say a wiggle walker? It's Craftsman. I don't know what that is. It's made of freaking cardboard, dude. No, it's plastic. Oh, is it? Yeah. Ah, oh, there's some. We don't know what this stuff is. It's cool, though. I'm positive about the negative, but I'm negative about the positive. Wow. That's interesting. Well, look at these pulling tools and stuff like that. Thinking, serious 3M gun, buddy. This is what they use when you go to the dentist in Mexico. <laughs> It's cheap. Oh, these metal ones give me a problem with the camera. Huh. Some washers. We could wash that Montana. sometime. They're washers. My dad says that. Go out there and wash that truck. Wash, wash it now. Got some hair tools, die grinder. 
This this is like a nut driver, air powered nut driver. It's got the Looks like an air powered G spot spinner. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a little bit of a review of just the kind of parts here. And you know, I was showing you last night. Hey Rich, check us out. For starters, I know this is crap. Garbage. I don't know. I hate to break it, but the middle is no good. So whatever. Garbage. Garbage. What will we ever do with them? That's kind of cool, ain't it? I don't know what for. The lights. Should keep that. Maxwell sprayer. Can you pull this? Yes. So people went through. Have you ever in your life seen one of those? Oh yeah. That's a cool tool. <laughs> for what? I don't know. But when you need it, you need it. Hey, dude, I'm telling you. Wow. Power built. Another. Stanley. Hey, that. Huh. Got knives in the bla in the handles. That ain't even no joke, dude. It's rusty. These are worth money. Nice. Yeah. So. Holy tools, Batman. All this stuff just kind of got dumped here, I guess. Somehow. No blame. I'm just saying. That's nice. Okay. Can you give me a hand real quick? I want to get that out of here. And I want to open this. Looks heavy. Okay, what do I do with this, Rich? You tell me. Oh, fuck. Oh. Back still is not done. Holy. I don't know. It's a VCR. It's the first VCR. It's an actual fucking Sony. Just takes a VXH tape. You can actually record with this though. Can you change the speed? Is that what that is? Yeah. This is full on editing type shit. TV tuning. It looks a little degraded. Degraded? From sitting out here? What do you mean I degraded? Rusty. Well, yeah, from sitting out here in the crappy crap. So is it trashy trash? It's a good chance, but you never know. It's solid state material. What does that mean? I don't know. That's what these things used to be with solid it's state. It's a U-matic. A U-matic. Dude, SK Wayne. Good. Dude, it's got a fucking wood box. Around it. That's old. <laughs> I bought it for this box. I got it for five dollars, and I thought, man, that box is worth five dollars to me. It's got wheels on the end. Of yeah, it's like a gig box. What do they call? I got one at the place. K Tech or whatever. I don't know. K pop. That's good. That tank could be good in Montana, right? Yeah. 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 Pulling out tools and junk and motors and got this mastic stuff. Rich says it's for between a like buildings, like metal buildings. Got stuff for concrete work or something. Self-leveling die core products. I don't even know what this stuff is or how I came about it. I know I got license plates. I know that's cool if I could figure out what it went on. It's it's a plethora. This is a complete GSR X, I think Rich said. This is one bike. That's another bike that I think he says will fit his. And this is a whole other bike. All the fiberglass flaring. It's not all cracked up. It's in good shape. Window regulators, fuel pumps. What's that? A Mac Tools. Oh, it's wallboard. It's a mastic gun or a texture gun for framing. Binks. Clutch linkage. 
for a W107, I think that says. This is junk here, but I got the seat rails. I think that's for my Wagoneer, because I got Jeep parts in here, a dash. Um, that's God be Mercedes. That's just a mirror I have. Trim like crazy. That's a W something. I don't know, this box is a little bit more special. All the mufflers and stuff and the air cleaners. Yeah, it seems very small tire. But that's a pretty small tire. And I think I wish I could pay to recycle this stuff rather than well. Custom things like this little cart, I would just miss in my shop when I get it set back up, that's for sure. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of things going on, a lot of cleaning up. I don't even know what to do with all that junk. So much junk. Junk, junk, junk. About all the different blue point and black point and pink point tools and stuff. Just a massive amount of garbage. And good stuff too. There's good stuff. Lights that are just like totally thrash. Trash. Hoses that are thrash. Trash. Garbage? We got so much garbage. We actually went through a lot of this. I actually might show part of that too. But there's just so much stuff here. And we're yanking this stuff out. Rigich actually, I've got four of those wheels, four of those wheels, three of those, four of those, and I've got the caps for these Chevy wheels in the um, in the trailer there. But it's getting a little bit cleaner. There's just there's just so much stuff here, and I don't really know exactly. How, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. It, it's crazy. It, it is insane, and um, I'm going to have to do like make it staged down to where I get part of this place let go of part of it or something I don't know I just know that I can't do this anymore that's for sure it's just too much call me on any of the cars that I put in for sale cheap I think one another one might be gone but they're cheap and you won't find better deals oneownercarguy.com smash that subscribe button get the little bell dinger notification thing and definitely call me if you're interested in any cars I don't even know what else to put in this vlog because today was not for me the most productive day I was dealing with the landlords and the insurance stuff and I didn't even get to order propane from Montana dang it I got a hundred things to do and 80 things worth of time it's ridiculous well I don't know where I threw the blue tool part in or whatever or the snap-on max and all but it's in here and thanks for watching have a great day or night whatever it is wherever you are oneownercarguy.com